Yeah, so I'm Mark Sybotham, I'm a director of Shag KM Architects. Yeah, so I'm, I'm the director of the practice, so I've been overseeing this project uh, probably 10, 10 years now with, with Captain Centric. Uh, I was the actual architect for doing the bunker building, which we saw earlier on, and I'm now overseeing this with a team of, of four who are moving us forward into the detailed design of this project going forward. So I came to Liverpool in 1990, uh, was a student of um, what was Liverpool Polytechnic. I came to John Moore's uh, two years into my studies. Uh, I graduated in 97 and then we formed this practice and, uh, and here we are now 26 years later and we're hopefully tackling this amazing uh, asset of, the, of Merseyside. From, from our Liverpool base we've worked across the UK. Uh, our first projects were the Matchworks in Speak and also the Collegiate School in, down in, uh, in Liverpool and from there we've moved on and done uh, Fort Dunlop in Birmingham, we did the old uh, Colgate Palmolive building in, in Salford and we've kind of come full circle back to one of the first buildings I came when I arrived here in, in 1990 is the Littles building so it's always been one of our kind of ch challenges and ambitions to get all this project and um, here we are today and uh, we're 12 months into a hopefully a successful project. Now you've done an absolutely fantastic job with the matchworks but this is on a whole different scale what is the worst challenge for you with this? Yeah. The, the, the only real difference with this one has been, unfortunately, the fire, which obviously has devastated the internal structure. Um, but thankfully, um, the roof being so lightweight, it just collapsed in, uh, which allowed the heat out. So the actual facade is intact. Uh, so there's a bit more of an exercise. So what today is re recognising the first package of work, which is an enabling package, which looks to make the building safe and the ground safe. The whole roof is asbestos, that's collapsed in, that's why we haven't been inside the building for two or three years now and we're not allowed to until there's a full clean up operation done. So that's the really the exercise now is to make the building safe, uh, the whole scaffold on the front to retain the facade while then the inner structure is taken away and then we can, once it's clean and made safe, we can then restart the, uh, the, the building of the internal works itself. How much of the original fittings are you going to try keeping? There's not a lot, well, what we try and do, um, obviously we haven't been in recently, but what we will do is go in and rescue all the kind of artefacts. There's lots of kind of remnants of what, how it used to be, the little pools, kind of ticket coupons where people checked in, checked out. All those bits we'll get hold of and, uh, and keep and bring back into the building. So there'll be, hopefully as part of this building, there'll be like a history archive of this site, which will be part of kind of maybe the public, public exhibition that people can access and see uh, throughout, the, throughout the duration of its build. So what's the most important part for you of the project? I think it's just the, it's, it's the scale of the building. It's everyone, now I moved to Liverpool in 1990, I'm not a scouser, and, um, but everyone I know, everyone I've met, someone, they knew someone who worked here. It's one of those great uh, bastions of Liverpool. It's like when uh, Matchworks, it's like it was at uh, Fort Dunlop. It, they're part of the community of the society, and uh, so for us it's, the, it's, it's re bringing uh, regeneration into this building so it can then move on to future generations in the future and become a great employer, which is really exciting for the students of Liverpool. If anybody wants to find out anything about your architectural work and everything, have you got a website? Yeah, so it's simply uh, shakm.co.uk. Uh, yeah, we've got practice there, all our portfolios there, and we do a lot of work from, from the large scale regeneration projects through to small. Um, uh, community projects. We've finished Edge Lane the station, which is kind of over the way, into kind of a community and galleries project in this area as well. So, and we've very much worked across the UK. So, even though Liverpool's our home, uh, we work um, on all se all sectors and all, all projects. Thank you and good luck. Thank you very much, Steve. You don't need any introductions. What's it like being on site at Littlewoods and the start of a new project? Well. Some would say that it's about time and I'm one of them, you know, I've been trying to, to push forward this project for some considerable time and we've hit some difficult periods but today is the start of what happens next and what happens next is this iconic building, this Art Deco building will be preserved and then we've got a really good second usage for it, you know, after its, its life as a, as a pools epicentre it's going to be somewhere that will have 
filming is its main um, uh, future and that will mean that we'll have really big productions coming here, inward investment, job creation, you know, new skills. Um, it's just part of, of, of a picture that means that Liverpool will get, regain its place as being the, the go-to city for filming. How much impact do you think this will have on the likes of Salford Keys and uh, London uh, bringing such a fantastic project to life here? Well, Salford Keys is mainly television and we're talking about filming so we're hoping that there'll be complementary skills that we can share uh, with our near neighbours in, in Greater Manchester but really this is about what we can um, attract from not just this country but globally into the city region and we believe that you'll get big film productions coming here you know we want to see more of those like the Batman we want to see more of those types of, of films but actually it's about the post-production facilities as well it's about retaining more of the whole project here so that we, we can create those great jobs of the future what do you think is going to be the biggest uh, part of the project for Liverpool City region well, that I think the biggest part, to tell you the truth, is ensuring that this thing wasn't demolished and that it's got a bright future and it might well be a different usage of the building, but it's something that is, is probably in the DNA of most people. You can't help but go past Edge Lane and see this building and think, why don't they do something with it? Well, we are doing something with it and it's got a new life. I think we'll start to see this animated in the next few years. Back in 2018, it didn't look like this was going to be able to be saved. How important do you think this facade will be? Because it looks like so much from Hollywood. It does, and that's the sort of feel and the vibe that we want to create. We want people to come here when it is a film studio and so feel as if they're going to somewhere that's quite grand. Uh, and we want um, those investors who are thinking about where should I put my money to come here and feel as if this is the right place for them. And look, if this was anywhere else in the country and certainly in the world, um, quite rightly, people would just say, we need to do something with it. We are doing something with it. I think it's the right match. Uh, I think it's a perfect match, actually, for a film studio. And we want then to ensure that now we capitalise on that. Because Liverpool is the most filmed city outside of London. But we see crews come in and, and then they'll disappear. We want more of that to happen here. We want more people locally to get those jobs. Lastly, touching on the film side, Liverpool, as you said, is the most film city in the UK, outside of London. What type of films do you want to aim to bring into the area? Well, we want everything from sort of really, really small local productions to Hollywood blockbusters. That's the, the aim, and that's why this is so important because it will provide really small studio space but great big cavernous spaces for those big films and that's what the industry wants so we're responding to a need that the industry have identified we've found some funding to to start this and this is the first phase and then after that obviously the next bit is to to get those fantastic facilities that will attract all of those great productions here Thank you for your time and good luck with the project. It looks fantastic what you've got planned. Thanks so much. Can I get you to introduce yourself please? Sure, I'm John Moffat. I'm Joint Managing Director of Capital Centric. And when did you start this project? Uh, so I first got involved in it in 2017 when we first acquired the building. What was it like seeing the fire in 2018? Probably uh, the worst day of my career. Um, it was um, an awful, awful day. Uh, but in, in some ways, it makes it all the sweeter to see today work starting to, to bring the building back, to uh, restore it to its former glory. Now, you're from Liverpool, aren't you? I am. I'm Toxteth, born and bred. And you went to school locally? I did, yes. Yeah, not far away. How much of a memory is this for you? Well, I used to be able to see the clock tower from my classroom, so um, it is a building that just holds a very special place in my heart, but also I have a family link with the building as well in that my wife's uh, grandmother used to work in there. 
I want to see the building brought back and restored to its former glory and uh, brought back into economic game. It, it's been empty for 20 years, you know, um, it, and it's currently a blight on on the the, the city. Um, and so bringing it brought back and restored and actually adding to the to the economy. So it's projected to add over 200 million a year to the to the local economy when it's complete. Um, will just be uh, an, an incredible. Um, day to, to see that come to completion. And I believe you're actually trying to repair the clock tower as well and make a working clock. Yes, the, the clock will be restored, um, so that will be uh, another kind of uh, landmark moment for the city to see that clock telling the, the right time again. What's the biggest challenge do you reckon? There's been many, many challenges along the way, but uh, there, there always are of buildings of uh, uh, you know a heritage nature and particularly you know, a fire damage building, um, there's always significant challenges to, to overcome um, and this one has, has been no exception to that. There's been uh, complexity, it's, it's a film and, and TV studio development so that adds complexity to the scheme but also obviously the, the building being of the scale that it is and in the condition that it is, uh, is also a challenge. Is it your first time doing something up this scale? No, so we've done larger developments um, elsewhere in the, in, in the UK um, but um, it is uh, an incredibly large building um, still so it's over 200 meters long um, so everything about the building is is epic in scale. What do you think is going to be the most riskiest part of the project uh, to getting it back to as it should be? Um, I think uh, getting in and, and Getting the building stripped back and all the fire damage uh, stripped away, and, and getting it back to a, a, a structural shell, um, which is what the, we're, we're doing um, now. Um, for me, that's the, the 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 big step really that needs to happen before it can uh, start to be turned into to what it's going to be. So, what's your favourite part of the project when it's completed? Do you think would it be the restaurant at the top? Uh, so. Um, there's a, a whole host of different things that I'm going to be very uh, pleased to see. Um, but I think the, the, the public realm in the, the courtyard, I think that's going to be something really very special. And also the, the central, um, the, the concrete domed structure that sits in between the two original wings of the building, um, we're turning that into a, a kind of um, multi-purpose event space uh, where you'll be able to come in and get some food and drink and maybe catch an artisan film screen of, uh, sc screening of, a, of an evening. Um, I think that's going to be a really special place to, to come and be. We've been told that you're looking at doing premieres as well. That's uh, one of my aspirations is that actually we'd get a, a Hollywood premiere. Um, I think the building is so iconic, so uh, Hollywood-esque in you know the Art Deco architecture, it will lend itself perfectly to a, a premiere. How massive a impact do you think the actual face uh, of the actual building is? So, because it looks like something from Hollywood as well, didn't it? It does. Um, the the scale of it, that that Art Deco era was kind of the the golden era of Hollywood, wasn't it? So, you, if you look at a lot of the films you did, um, the older ones. Um, uh, Pinewood, for example, they have Art Deco buildings of this kind of nature, probably not of this scale, um, but it, it is uh, synonymous with Hollywood uh, buildings of this era and architecture. Do you think that will actually help draw the attention of the Hollywood executives? Uh, I think there's so many other things that uh, will be a, a critical driver mainly all of the architecture in Liverpool, it's the most film city outside of London, you know, we host films that uh, uh, portray the city as New York and Chicago and, and all over the world because of the, the kind of scope of architecture that we've got in the city. So I think that's probably the biggest draw for, for Hollywood. And if anybody wants to find out more, where can they go? They can go to our website, uh, www.capitalandcentric.com um, and uh, if you look on there, there's a, um, a section uh, dedicated to the Littlewoods project um, and you can find out more there. Thanks and good luck. Thank you. My name's Lynn Saunders and I head the Liverpool Film Office. Now Liverpool is the most film city in the UK outside of London. How important is this going to be for the region? 
Um, the word transformation is, but is I've, I've often heard that with in relation to regeneration projects. But I suppose it's the the key word that applies to this scheme. It will be transformational. It will make a huge difference to um, businesses um, and communities in Edge Lane, but right across the city region. Um, I, I have the wonderful privilege of managing the two studios over the road, the depot, which is a short-term solution until this big scheme comes on board. Um, and I've seen the difference that that's made, um, the amount of productions that we're having, the amount of film days, but also the opportunities for local people to get work and for also trainees. Um, one of the projects we've had there is the Sexy Beast. Um, Rather than filming for a couple of weeks, they ended up filming in Liverpool for nine months. Um, they spent a significant amount locally in the local economy, but they also hired many local crew, um, local services, um, and also provided uh, wonderful training opportunities. Uh, the sets were built um, by two set construction people um, in the city region. Um, and that's the difference that these big stages make. Um, they encourage production to stay longer but also invest in the area uh, and I can't wait to see um, the types of productions we'll be hosting on this site in the future. Now it's not just Liverpool that it affects, uh, we've seen filming going on in Formby and in Southport all over the place. How big an area will film crews take up? Um, so the um, there's a, a a kind of a, a, a radius that they can travel which is about 30 miles so um, by using the centre of Liverpool we can pretty much you know go cover all of Liverpool city region uh, and further um, and that's the the areas that they're able to uh, to to travel to and from um, without incurring expenses or diems which uh, makes it then more expensive for the production company, but yeah, we've seen a lot of filming in um, in Sefton and emerging production hubs in Holton, St Helens, Knowsley, and the Wirral. Now we've got things like Lipper here. We've got LMA. We've got so many different organisations performing arts-wise. We've got films uh, academies, everything. How important do you think this? background of Liverpool's creative side that we'll have in the input to this project? I grew up in Cantrell Farm um, in Highton. Uh, Brookside was filming on the edge of my estate um, but it wasn't an industry that I was encouraged to go into or that there were many opportunities um, for someone like me leaving school at 15. Um, it's such a different option now. Um, I've just worked with uh, lots of different cohorts uh, who've been working on Taylor Swift pop promo, uh, feature films, uh, we've had four trainees on Responder with Martin Freeman, uh, we had more, we had a number on time, um, so, um, and there's a significant amount of crew locally um, that are progressing and stepping up into more senior roles. Um, so. There are a lot more opportunities to work in the film and TV industry than there ever was. Um, what my job is over the next couple of years is to link FE, HE uh, and schools, uh, make them aware of the opportunities behind the camera and also the, the, um, the opportunities that will be available at the depot and Littlewoods. Will there be any encouragement to actually hire locally as well? Because it's also a green thing, isn't it? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, skills, sustainability and stories is our strategic priorities for the next three years. The stories element is via our LCR production fund, funded by the Combined Authority, uh, Mayor Rotherham. Um, we've invested in productions like Responder, Time um, and the, the reason we invest is the incentive to crew locally. Um, so it's all about local local expenditure uh, and local employment. And it's not just about acting as well. That we, it, it takes joiners, electricians, caterers. It's, there's an army 
that need you, you, that's needed to support production on location. Um, yes, everything from prop making, set construction, hair, makeup, costume. Uh, I mean, it, it's there's thousands of people. Um, you know those credits roll at the end of movies. Each one of them is a, is is a skilled uh, craftsperson, uh, technical or, or production um, and post. Um, and they're all the they're, they're these are the jobs that are going to be available now and, and moving forwards. And it's not just the actual film itself. After the film, we've got tourism as well. Tourism is something we need to do much more of around, you know, encouraging visitors to come here because of something they've seen uh, on, on, a, on, a, on a screen or TV. We impersonate other places, um, so um, like the Batman, obviously it's really famous, but it's not supposed to be Liverpool, it's supposed to be Gotham City. Um, and we need to, yeah, we need to be, we need to be looking at how we uh, capitalise on the glorious amount of content that's made every single day uh, each year uh, in our region. How much is it going to be Bollywood as well? Uh, we've had two Bollywood feature films this year. Um, so, you know, we, we promote uh, the opportunities in Liverpool City region globally um, and we're, we always welcome warmly crews from, from everywhere. Thank you, and if anybody wants to find out any more information about your uh, side of it, it's, where do they go? Um, contact the Liverpool Film Office, um, search for us online, www.liverpoolfilmoffice.tv Thank you. You're welcome.